hello everyone in this video we are going to update our sam uh, so that it can support php 8 version and uh, and it must also support the laravel 9 version uh, that uh, for laravel 9 we already know that php 8 is required for laravel 9 okay uh, so uh, we are going to update xamp in this video we are going to take few step few simple steps uh, first of all uh, that we will back up our files we are going to export our earlier database and uh, we are either uninstall or rename the zam folder earlier zam folder for that and we are going to install the new version of zam okay so uh, first thing is i'm going to take the backups so first of all i'm going to show uh, that our uh, our zamp is currently running and we are going to check the version of the zamp right now okay so see i'm going to click on php info and the current version is 7.4.20 so we want to update it to uh, php version 8 and so that it can also support the laravel 9 uh, okay so uh, now see uh, see this is the project that is currently running in my php 7 version 7.4 version you can see uh, we able to run the laravel project here okay so uh, these are the database uh, that i want to copy so everything is running perfectly here and we hope that everything is uh, will run perfectly uh, in another xamp that uh, in new xamp uh, that supports the php uh, 8 version okay so first thing is i'm going to take the backup of all the databases so we can uh, click on check all after going up see we have click on export and going to ex uh, see i'm going to click on export now and it will export all the databases together okay so it will take only few minutes and it is going to export all the databases okay you can separately also you can export one by one if you want see now it is not working because it is currently exporting it has starter see you can see see i have already taken the backup of all the databases you can see here okay so i will also tell you how you how we can take separately for all the tables or all the databases okay so uh, now see i'm also going to take the backup of this xamp folder as to docs folder we want to take the backup of complete xamp folder here okay so uh, we can either uh, we can either rename the xamp folder so i will so see i'm using my mac operating system okay so in mac operating system we can simply open our uh, zam folder i can open from here applications and here must be located somewhere zam is here okay so i want to rename it uh, one thing is i can rename this folder uh, so that i can keep it or another one is i can simply uninstall it okay so after taking the backup i can completely uninstall this folder so so it is uh, so we are required to take the backup first okay so because we can't uninstall it without taking the backup otherwise we will lose all the uh, all the projects okay so we will make sure that the backup has been taken okay so backup has been taken now so you we can also take the individual backups like uh, like for first project i can open the project here i can simply export and i can export it like this we can also take the backup one by one of all the databases okay so as far as the files are concerned uh, what i am going to do i am going to pick this sd docs uh, these are my folder personal and official i can simply move the folder uh, to some other location okay uh, so i can move these to some other location uh, like uh, i can move it here right now uh, see i am moving these for the timing i am going to move this folder again when we able to install the new version of zen okay so now we are going to check once see now our folders are not here we have already taken the backup of databases we have moved our folder outside of xamp okay now the folders are secure here okay so now we are ready to uninstall our xamp uh, so i will go to my uh, main uh, drive folder here once again here and here i'm going to open application and go inside the xamp and now i'm going to uninstall okay 
I'm going to uninstall this app now. So it is going to uninstall this app. Okay. So it will take few minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to install the new version of XAMPP. Okay. So for installing the new version of XAMPP, we can simply see it is saying, do you want to install XAMPP and all its modules? Yes. I'm going to install the XAMPP and all its module. Okay. So in the meantime, uh, we can also install the new version of them. We can download the new version of them. Uh, okay, so let it uninstall. It will only take few seconds, I think. So installation is completed or okay. So now we can check. Uh, so yeah, now we don't have uh, any uh, folder of them. His folder is there. Uh, you can manually remove this folder if you want. Okay. Uh, you can also rename this. It is all empty. Uh, okay. We can remove it completely. Remove this folder if you want. Okay. So now see it has been removed. We can also remove from here. Okay. So this file is uh, of no use. We can remove this file and we can also remove uh, rename uh, we can remove from sidebar as well okay so okay so now it is fine so now uh, we can install the new one Oops. Uh, for installing the new version of them uh, we will search here install them and we are going to open this website apachefriends.org as my system is mac uh, operating system so i am going to install uh, from the os x okay xamp for os x and i am going to install the latest version that is 8.1.1 that supports the php 8.1.1 because uh, then I can able to install the Laravel 9 also and other latest uh, PHP frameworks I can run in uh, PHP 8. Okay, so I'm going to uh, download the 64 bit here. So you can download as per your own operating system. Okay, if your operating system is Linux, then you can install uh, the latest uh, version PHP 8 from Linux and if you are uh, uh, if you uh, are using the windows operating system then you can install the latest php 8.1 this one okay so now i am installing the mac for a mac operating system i am installing this one 8.1.1 okay so it will take only few minutes so it has been done now i can able to run this one Okay, so I'm going to click here. So I will click on open. It will ask system password. So it starts, setup start. We are going to click on next. Uh, next okay so it will going to install in application zam so we are going to click uh, it will tell you something about zam that uh, okay setup is now ready to begin installing so we can continue here so it will take few minutes it is installing zam to our mac operating system so we are installing the latest zam that supports php 8 so that uh, we can install laravel 9 project we can run laravel 9 projects and we can also run the latest php frameworks other php frameworks that support php 8 version so this is the basic requirement so we need to install uh, the latest xam so that uh, we can run the php 8 projects as well
okay so uh, now we can see that it is almost done it can also take 5 to 10 minutes so you need to be patient Uh, so ZAMP is finally installed. Okay, so uh, we are going to launch the ZAMP now. Okay, I'm going to click on finish and see the ZAMP has been launched now. Uh, see, we can able to assess it now. Okay, so uh, it is running. I'm going to run the PHP MySQL database as well. Okay, so uh, both will get uh, run now. Okay, so now I'm going to check the PHP info here. Uh, see you can check the version here php version 8.1.1 okay so we finally able to install the php 8 xamp uh, okay so we can now able to install the laravel 9 and other latest php frameworks so we able to install the new xamp here uh, that supports the php version 8 okay 8.1.1 and uh, see here uh, the databases okay so we can now import our databases here uh, along with the uh, folders that we have taken the backup earlier okay so i'm going to open my downloads folder where we keep our folders so i'm going to now move our, my personal and official folder uh, back to the xam folder okay so once again i have moved my folder back to the uh, xam folder xam as docs folder okay and now i can uh, import my databases as well so one by one i can able to uh, uh, create the databases or i can simply import all the databases together as well see here i have taken the backup of all the folders i'm going to try with the local host this is uh, the complete uh, backup that i have taken i have exported from them uh, so see the backup is very heavy we can able to see here uh, so uh, we can do one by one uh, see whatever products we require we can able to import those like uh, i require ecom 6 uh, is one of the project uh, of uh, that is the laravel e-commerce website that we are working on so uh, now i can import to this one and ecom6 i want to import here uh, so i will just simply import here ecom6 this one and i will click on go so like this uh, we can able to import the other products as well so it will take a few seconds maybe few minutes depends upon the size of the uh, of the database and see if we can able to import so like in this way uh, we can also import the other required databases uh, first we need to create the database and then we are going to import the database uh, that related database we are going to import for which we have taken the backup okay so now uh, i will try running the my project my laravel project here uh, this ecom6 project new terminal at folder phpr attribution save we are going to check whether it is running in php 8 or not okay so here i am going to check here so it is running so i am going to check that uh, it must not create any issue so it seems to be fine now it is running in php 8 version so it all seems to be fine see the landing pages are opening fine okay so everything seems to be fine okay so we able to run our laravel project in php 8 version so very soon we are going to start the laravel 9 and we are going to uh, create our laravel 9 projects in php 8 version now our version is the latest version in which we can able to create our laravel 9 projects so uh, do check the version of your project simply go uh, to your xamp folder if you have installed the xamp okay even if you have some other like uh, uh, if you have VAMP, you can check your php version there okay 
so here you can check the php info you can check the version here if it is less than 8 if it is 7 point something then upgrade your uh, zap in the same way like we have done okay so you know the steps now they are very simple steps that you need to take see we need to take the backup of the files okay you can uh, move your files outside the zam folder okay and export the databases export all your databases and then uninstall or rename zam folder you can also rename the zam folder if you are in windows you can able to rename the zam folder complete zam folder and you can install the new zam otherwise you can simply uninstall that zam because that uh, already we have taken the backup of the zam so we can able to uh, uninstall like we have done and the final step is to download and install the new version of zam okay so this is the final step and after that uh, we will uh, move our uh, backup okay backup uh, to the new zam okay so uh, we will write move backup to new zam folder okay so this is the last step okay so we need to uh, move the backup okay also to new zam folder backup that we have taken earlier of the uh, files of the project files and databases okay so uh, these steps you can take and you can upgrade uh, your uh, zam to php 8 version and get ready for the laravel 9 and i hope that you are going to uh, install the laravel 9 that uh, we are going to do in few days and we are going to start the multi-vendor e-commerce project in Laravel 9 very soon. Okay, so stay tuned for that. So that's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.